Should we start with the semiconductor shortage? How bad was it? Well, in terms of Nintendo and its forecast, it wasn't as bad as Sony on the previous day. Sony, uh, Sony cut 3 million units uh, from its forecast. Nintendo only cut one, so it was down to 23 million Switch units that expect to sell in the full fiscal year. Uh, that's roughly in line with expectations. But I will say for console makers overall, whether it's Sony, Nintendo, or Microsoft, they're facing uh, the situation where they're kind of at the back of the line when it comes to semiconductor production capacity. When you think about it, Smartphones have the highest volume, uh, the most lucrative chips. Uh, then you have automakers, uh, which have been pressuring chip makers to give them more capacity. Um, you, you have all these companies, and then uh, console makers themselves, they don't sell that many units, and they also have large consoles to ship. So the just aforementioned issue with logistics and shipping really hits them hard as well. So looking ahead to the coming quarters, what did Nintendo have to say and what is the games pipeline looking like? Well, Nintendo is usually extremely conservative, uh, but in this case, uh, President Furukawa, he said that the console is only in the middle of its life cycle. Five years into it, it's in the middle of its life cycle. He says momentum going into the year is good. We are expecting new Legend of Zelda games, a new Splatoon 3 game, and more than 10... Uh, marquee games from outside uh, developers are coming this year. So in terms of software especially, uh, the Switch platform does look like it's going to have a strong year.